Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart would live in Vienna for 10 years and reside in no fewer than 14 apartments. The only surviving residence can be found at the Mozart House Vienna, which is located in the heart of the Austrian capital in close proximity to Vienna's cathedral, the Stephansdom. This masterpiece of medieval architecture is Vienna's most revered landmark an edifice that has witnessed and weathered centuries of history, known good times and bad, and prevailed in every sense of the word. And thus it has become a symbol of continuity. But the Stephans Dome was likewise the setting for a number of significant moments in the unfortunately brief life of one of the world's greatest musicians. And Mozart's connection to this place of worship is well documented in the age-old cathedral archives. Many people are completely unaware of the fact that Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was married here in the Stephans Dome. Here in the marriage records of the Cathedral Parish of St. Stephens, it is documented that on the 4th of August 1782, the very noble gentleman Wolfgang Adam Mozart a court conductor married his noble gentlewoman, Constantia Weber. The priest obviously made a mistake when recording the marriage and wrote Adam instead of Amade, a mistake that certainly would not happen today. And the marriage took place in the cathedral's devotional chapel, the Elegius Chapel. Adorned with copestones from the 14th century, it can also boast the only extant Gothic triptych altar to be found in the Stephans Dome. Donated in 1507 by Bishop Ludwig Ebner of Chiemsee, it was originally created for the cathedral's Valentine's Chapel. In a Gothic sanctuary with a small receding choir in the lower chamber of the South Tower, one finds the Catherine Chapel. Here, a couple of the Mozart's children would be baptized. The artistic highlight of the small chapel is the baptismal font, which is made of Salzburg marble and was completed in the year 1481 by an unknown artist. In the archives of Vienna's cathedral, the Stephans Dome, hundreds of years of history passed review, and the precious inventory is of indeterminable value. And in regards to the life of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, many interesting details come to light. When Mozart died on December 5, 1791, his apartment was located in the Rauensteingasse, and he thus was a parishioner of the cathedral parish of St. Stephan. Because of that, the expenses for his funeral are documented here in the so-called Beer Book. And the entry here states that on the 6th of December, Mozart, third class, cathedral parish of St. Stephan, the well-titled gentleman Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, imperial court conductor and chamber composer in the Rauensteingasse in the small Kaiser House, number 920, of feverish typhus, aged 36 years, in Cemetery A, St. Mark's. And then there is a further entry which states that he received a separate hearse carriage with two horses for the price of three gulden, and the entire expenses for the funeral amounted to eight gulden and 56 kreuzer. And based on this information, it is actually proven that Mozart did not receive a pauper's burial, because today that amount of money is the equivalent of over 2,000 euros. Today, Mozart's grave in the St. Mark Cemetery in Vienna draws visitors from home and abroad. To this place of rest, the man who would make an indelible impact on the music world would make his final journey, the unforgettable Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. <laughs>